Hi, my name is Jen and welcome back to the video the tutorial for learning programming language by example. Okay, so today I will go ahead to show you how to use uh, ASP.NET setup to work with uh, a store processor to get the data from the database. And today is the day 7 in this series tutorial. Okay, so now I will go ahead to create a web page. Uh, and okay, uh, uh, and the first thing in this tutorial, I will uh, get the data from the database and display it uh, in the web page by using the repeater as we did in some previous video. Okay, so I will name is a repeater. Repeat. The repeat the um, using store. Okay. So now I will open the previous course for the repeater to set the time for correct. I copy the Okay. Copy the namespace. Copy code here. Okay, so in previous video tutorial, we use the we also use the repeater to get the data from database on and it plays on the web page, and we use the uh, SQL, SQL command inside uh, inside the backend code. And for now, in this uh, using that way, we will uh, create a stock procedure. In, in the SQL and we only call the start of processor name inside the backend course and I think that's that is I think that is useful for the uh, maintenance and update the course in the next okay so now I will open the SQL management that's one in my DB is the DB we are using and we we are having the first person table which contain four column here ID, name, address, and print place. And for now, I will go to programmability to create the stop reader. Okay. No need to right click on the uh, on the stop procedure to create new. We can. We will have to create a new query and okay that one is a select query from the database but let's try to see okay so now I will go ahead to create a stock procedure from I will name it the SP get Person with okay, so I will put the serial query inside begin and end. So now let's execute. Okay, and go stop procedure and try to refresh. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, okay. So now we can test to make sure the dust stop procedure does have been created work file. Let's execute stop procedure. Okay, it works fine.
So now we back to the backend code to see. Okay, let's see what we have. We have the connection to the string. Okay. So. Okay, so now I will comment this code. Remove that one. Come on, die. Equal. Come on, die. Star. So the command tag we have to enter the stop procedure name here. Okay. So open the connection before we can let it attack. And we have to create the grid the um grid Okay. Okay, so I will try to run the application. That not allow. Okay, let's try. Okay, so we can remove this one. From the day. Yes, book five. Okay, so now I will go ahead to create another stop procedure by using some parameter. I will create another navigate event person list by name. Uh, normally, if we use the line it, and enter the value directory in the SQL code, we have to do it like that. But for now, we didn't. Uh, we don't use the hard code here. We will add the value for, for the name parameter from the UI web UI. So we should we have to do something here. Name. Yeah. So we can reboot that one. We can tap to make sure it will find. Okay, it worked fine. So now I will come back to the code. The 
first one is the HTML code to create a form here. Name a text box. Can change it. Plate holder Okay, so now when user enter some name inside the text box here and click to the third button uh, the web page will uh, sorry the repeater will refresh and display the new data corresponding by the name the new name okay so now i will go ahead to copy the above code and i will replace the new stop procedure name okay so now the next one we have to pass the parameter for the new procedure is the name and we have to see the parameter with value name at name and the next one is a value we can have code here for example C or one so if I have code the one I have I will have two record one is again and I click to search to record okay so now we will add the Value from the take out Okay. One. I will put the one, two, record here. Here. Okay, so you can see it's work very, very, very nice here. Okay, so I think that's all for using the AP.NET C# -SAP web page to call uh, and uh, stop procedure to call the data from the database and then display it on the web page. Uh, I think uh, that one is. Uh, uh, that's the geo tutorial is uh, simple so you guys can buy on that to create uh, some complex uh, uh, functionality for the web page okay so hope, hope that helps and let me know if you have any comment and i will try to answer it for you as soon as possible okay bye happy coding